I got started in fitness about 12 years ago, I was 18, right after high school. Started hitting the gym with my buddies. Uh, right away, it was an instant addiction. Uh, started going on time, looking at magazines, when it looked like the guys in the magazines. Uh, since then, it's just kind of steamrolled. Uh, turned into a trainer, turned into a job, career, and now here I am. Business in the beginning was pretty bad. I actually started with just weights, kettlebells, things in the back of my Jeep. Took them to the park, uh, would set up out there, charging people $20 a session. It was, it was pretty brutal in the beginning, um, just trying to get anywhere I could to get out there. I wanted to open a gym because I wanted to actually reach more people. Uh, there's only so many hours in a day. Uh, even though business is really good, I'm training you know, six to 10 people a day. I'm only reaching six to 10 people a day. So what well, my goal was, was to be able to basically set up something where I can actually touch more people on a daily basis. I met my partner, um, Haley May, actually. She was my client. I was just training her. She is probably one of the most recognized yoga instructors in San Diego. And I actually had a vision with Larry Nolan, the owner of Hardcore Fitness in Santa Clarita, about opening a gym in San Diego. Um, I knew I couldn't do it by myself, so I approached her with the opportunity if she wanted to open a yoga studio inside the gym. It just happens to be so that's something she wanted to do, but she was scared to do the jump on her own. So we went from business partners to best friends, um, from trainers, so it kind of just grew from there. basically just driving to Vegas for um, a national level show um, a while back. Uh, we have a share of mutual friend, Nard Ortiz, and I actually didn't even know Larry owned a gym. And on the drive up there, you know, we stopped, talked about it a little bit. I had told him that basically with my business, I had been saving money, not really knowing what I wanted to do. I wasn't sure if I was going to go in the direction of a supplement company, um, maybe a little studio, a gym. And after we talked for a little while and I, I kind of figured out his program and how he was touching more people and how he was able to expand his business and his brand, I uh, you know, started approaching him quite often actually, um, almost harassing him to the point where we got in touch and figured out a way to expand the business um, down to San Diego from LA. So you know, about a year later, here we are. My ultimate goal is to be a household name in the fitness industry. I don't really care about being famous or rich or anything like that. I want people to see me as an image and see that that guy stands for health, fitness. He lives a healthy lifestyle. I think that's more appealing to the everyday person. Um, and that's what the goal is with the gym. Reach more people, touch more people, inspire more people. Um, the more people you can inspire, the more people you can touch, the better I feel like I'm doing. Um, I feel like that's my given talent is to help inspire people. So this is my opportunity and my chance to basically share myself with everybody else.